Okay, so in F1 news, uh, Johnny Herbert is no longer going to be working for Sky Sports as a commentator. Um, really interesting. Um, he's been a fixture on an F1 grid for the best part of three decades as a driver and lately as a commentator and pundit. I grew up watching Johnny Herbert race. Probably one of the most unlucky drivers, I think, ever to grace an F1 grid with some of the accidents and reliability issues he had with cars and some of the teammates he had being, well, world champions. Michael Schumacher for one. But Johnny Herbert is a very likeable character. He's a very for he's very forthright in his opinions as well, very honest about uh, things that he feels are important to discuss, especially the 2021 season with the, all the controversy there with the, 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 the Verstappen Hamilton accident at Monza and his views on that, and also how the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix panned out in the end under the safety car and the controversy around uh, Max Verstappen winning his first of currently two world titles that he has to date. And he was very, very controversial and, and, and forthright in his opinions of those controversies. But Sky Sports and Johnny Herbert are parting ways. And we don't know the reasons why. We don't know if Sky Sports have decided not to renew his contract. If Johnny Herbert's decided to go, you know what, I want to walk away and, and, um, and, and pursue further career opportunities elsewhere. Um, it could be personal reasons. We don't know if Sky Sports have decided just to sack him. What we do know is he's not going to be there from this season onwards. And so we'll see um, how it pans out, who they get to replace him. But what I will say is this. Sky Sports, as well as other sports broadcasters, have been criticised in recent years for some of their lineup changes and some of the presenters they have, rightly so. Now, some of the criticisms I think are unfair on some of the newer broadcasters and presenters and commentators that are coming in who are learning their trade. And some of the controversies we've seen, not just here in the UK, but also abroad. Don Cherry is another one uh, in, in Canada with some of his comments he made that cost him his job. Uh, we've seen lineup changes on various uh, national and international sports broadcasters that have been criticised. Um, a lot of sports fans don't like change. Now, some of the changes have been good and some of the changes have been bad. And some of the quality of broadcasting has been mixed as well. Now, Sky Sports, as a broadcaster, has been under a lot of pressure. A lot of uh, subscribers have been cancelling their subscriptions during and after the COVID pandemic. The cost of living crisis is biting and people just aren't willing to pay the fee that Sky Sports wants. Also, their football pay for view as well went down quite badly uh, in the winter of 2020 following the resumption of play in order to recoup some of the lost revenues due to the initial pandemic lockdown of basically the spring and summer of 2020. Sky Sports, as well as other broadcasters, were desperately trying to claw back money. They were criticised in some of the decisions they took in 2020, asking for like rebates on some of their sports packages and also demanding renegotiations on some of their sports packages that they had negotiated with various teams and leagues over many, many years. And... Obviously, Sky Sports F1 as a channel on, on the broadcaster, are obviously looking at some of their revenue streams, you know, changes in subscription habits. And Johnny Herbert, for whatever reason, is moving on. Now, we'll find out in due course, obviously, the reasons why. Um, but it's obviously been decided that he's no longer going to be a commentator for Sky Sports F1. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below how you feel about um, this lineup change. Uh, is, is it on Johnny Herbert? Has he decided he's had enough of Sky Sports for whatever reason, for personal reasons, or he just fancies a change? Or maybe Sky Sports weren't willing to rene renegotiate or extend his contract. What we do know is there's already a lot of criticism online of, of the move. We don't know the reasons why yet, but we'll find out in due course. It's not fair to speculate. I doubt he's been sacked necessarily, but maybe they, the contract negotiations for extending his contract broke down. That happens. It happens quite regularly, more regularly than you might think. And that could be the reason why he's walked away. But to speculate is dangerous. But what we do know is uh, it's blown up Twitter. Social media has gone mad in the last hour or so in regards to Johnny Herbert leaving Sky Sports F1. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, from me, thank you very much for watching. Please place your thoughts on this in the comment section below. And I'll have some more content for you very, very soon.